Katie, thanks. Nine high school students now recovering this morning from medical emergencies that all seemingly happened right at the same time this during a JROTC ceremony yesterday. Let's get right out to On Your Size, mm. Leah Shields. She is live for us this morning with the details on this incident. Uh, bizarre, Leah. The kids are all doing okay, though, correct? We're still working to figure out everyone's condition. I know seven were taken to the hospital yesterday, two refused treatment, and four of the seven non-life-threatening conditions, we've already confirmed those, still working to confirm the other three as well this morning. But they're all Andrew Jackson High School students at that JROTC ceremony, which was taking place here at NAS Jacksonville yesterday. And what we were told, though very vague, is that they fell out. That was really all the details we could give. And it's a medical emergency. We do know that. And Duval County Public Schools is commenting on this. They said, quote, as we learn more about what caused this situation, we will certainly review our practices and determine if anything can be done to prevent something like this from happening in the future. Right now, we are in the fact finding phase while hoping for the quick recovery of those students impacted. And we know at least four of those were, again, non life threatening, still working to confirm the rest of the conditions. I do know a lot of people were here yesterday for this ceremony, 179 cadets. And again, everything's very vague at this point. We're hoping to learn more throughout the morning. Leah Shields, First Coast News, on your side.